how to create a blogger portfolio website. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a portfolio website using blogger.com. If you are a freelancer, then it's essential that you have a platform where you have your portfolio uploaded, where any of your clients can see what kind of work you do. And blogger.com is a great platform for you to do that. So to get started, you're just going to click on sign in over here, or you're going to click on create your blog. And then you can use any of your Google accounts to sign in i am going to continue with mine now after that you are going to choose the name for your blog and this will be placed at the top of your blog you can choose this right now or you can skip it for later i am going to choose this as jane's portfolio i'm going to click on next and then you can choose the url for your blog so i'm going to do that as jane's portfolio one two three so change portfolio one is available. So I'm going to continue with that. After that, I am going to confirm my display name. So I want my name to be Jane and I'm going to click on finish. Now, after that, you are going to be on your basic blog. And although blogger.com is basically a platform for you to create blogs, you can easily display your blogs as a general freelancer and, and you can update your content and display your content to potential clients via this platform and still have your portfolio in the same place so after that you can see that you can create a new post you have your posts on the left you have your statuses comments earnings pages layout themes settings and reading list so you're going to click on view blog to see what kind of portfolio you basically have this is a basic simple blogger.com portfolio or blogger.com blog what you're going to do is you're going to click on theme over here at the left and then you're going to click on customize so over here you're actually going to start doing the basic footwork of designing your own welcome page now first off you're going to view your background image i find this image to be decent enough but you can change the basic color scheme of your website as well so after that you're going to click on advanced over here where you're going to change your page text to so if you want to change any of that you can do that from here and then you have your basic gadgets where you can add a about me section now if you were to click on advanced over here and if you wanted to add more theme colors if you want a cohesive profile you can add a couple of different colors as well and then when you're changing your text you need to be aware that it's going to apply to your entire website so you need to make sure that you are doing something that's going to look cohesive now after that all you're going to do is click on save over here at the bottom right then you can go back and then you can see over here that this is the basic theme we're doing Obviously, if you scroll down over here, you can find different themes available and there are a bunch of different options for you to choose from. They're not very, very different, but they're good enough for you to get started. Now, if we were to start with a different template like this one, we would just click on customize. Then you would change and remove some of these images. And now you would just do a basic and simple theme edit where you're going to change up the colors or the backgrounds. And then you're going to click on save. And then you're just going to go back. And now this is going to be your new website. So if you were to just apply that, it's going to be that. Now, after that, you can see over here, you can back up your website and then you can also restore your website. If you click on settings down below over here, you can even change the language of your blog as well and also change if you do explicit work you can make it a adult only website as well now after that you need to view your different pages now first off there are no pages currently but for creating a new page i'm just going to click on new page over here at the top left and now a new page is going to be created on my blog but i'm going to name this as sample work and then i can add whatever it is I'm just going to click on publish. I'm going to click on confirm. And now I have this new page added to my blog. It's very easy to monitor your work and monitor how many visitors and how many comments, earnings, and all of that you're doing on your blogger.com website. Now, if you wanted to change the layout of your website, you can do that by clicking on the layout section on the left over here on your basic dashboard where you can start editing your sidebars your search bar headers and page lists now in your about me section obviously you're going to add show this widget you're going to show your about me and then you're going to have your title after that you can just click on any of these pens and you can add or remove any of these sections if i was to add another gadget to my sidebar let's say i want a contact form over here i can add that this and i can add as many widgets as i possibly want 
Now, as this is going to serve as your portfolio website, you want to display your work on your blog as well. So right now, if it's empty, you're definitely going to add a welcome to my portfolio text over here or just add an image that says welcome to my portfolio. And then you're going to click on new post over here on your basic home dashboard where you're going to start adding your work. So let's say uh, sample work one, and then you're going to add your little text going to click on publish and then you're going to confirm after that your blog has been posted and if you refresh over here you can see over here that your blog is going to appear and you can start displaying your work on your work portfolio right over here on blogger.com now generally i don't suggest using blogger.com as your web portfolio builder but it's still a sufficient tool however in most situations i would recommend that if you're not doing writing particularly if your focus is not on text-based stuff and if you're more of a image creative or you do more in design or illustrations definitely create your portfolio using wix i find Find that to be a better option for most people however if you want to keep things simple and you want to keep it all on your google account you're just someone who needs a website to display their articles for your potential clients then blogger.com will do the job very well so this is how you can create your own portfolio using blogger.com it's very simple and easy and the best part about creating your portfolio with blogger.com is then if you go into the stats section over here so you're going to come back to your basic website or blogger.com dashboard and then you're going to go into the stats over here and you can view your different followers and people that have commented you can see all of your views within the past few days or even months and you have detailed analytics to show you if people are actually interested in your portfolio so if you have different portfolio posts so if you post about your work experience and then you post about your job experience then you can see what kind of posts are giving you more more views and you can see how people are more interested in certain aspects of your portfolio and further elaborate on them instead of constantly giving out the same information over and over again without actually having a good reach and the good thing about blogger.com is you can even link your adsense account and get free money from people visiting your portfolio you can also go into your settings and change the blog language so if you are maybe a spanish teacher and you want to illustrate your spanish skills and you want to show people how good you are at spanish you can change the blog language and you're just going to select whatever other language you want so if you're going to go for spanish you're going to go with spanish if you want to do it in espanol spanish or latin american spanish you can choose that as well and there are a bunch of languages to choose from so you can further demonstrate how you are skilled in not only your own language but in certain other languages as well and after that, you can see that if you go into your basic posts, you can manage your posts and edit them in bulk as well. So you don't have to cut out entire paragraph on your portfolio. You can edit individual sections or articles as you have posted them. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own portfolio using blogger.com. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.